over the next three days, we embrace the East African spirit where we get to define our own digital identity. The code 3.0 is about celebrating the resilience, innovation, and collaborative spirit of East Africa community. From inception, Safaricom has been synonymous with innovation. It enables us to deliver value to our customers and respond to the dynamic needs of the business. Innovation in Safaricom is not just a one uh, event affair. It's the core of our strategy. This is not just an event, it's a movement. We are a collective of visionaries, problem solvers, and builders. We are the architects of tomorrow. We will explore how traditional engineering disciplines are converging with cutting edge digital technologies. The other aspect will be human-centered engineering, addressing the real needs of our communities. Another aspect will be sustainable and ethical innovation. Empowering the next generation will be key. In terms of our hook, we are going to offer scholarships and trainings. We are the largest software integrator in Kenya and in Africa, and we want to take that kind of expertise, those kind of wins, and extend them into other environments, working with other customers who are also battling to drive changes within their spaces. We decided to grow our solarized sites from a mere, I think, 150 thereabouts to a quarter of the network. That means over 1,500 base stations now are operating on uh, solar energy. Achieving net zero is not a sprint, it's a marathon. And the steps we take today will determine whether or not we achieve the goals we've set ourselves tomorrow. I commend the government for coming up with various regulations to guide investment in a sustainable infrastructure. And some of these include the National Building Code. Digital transformation is going to impact some jobs. But actually what research says is that there are going to be more jobs created as long as we reskill. So the important part is that we all need to reskill so that we are ready for this future that is getting transformed quite significantly by, by AI. By coming here I was really interested and I wanted to interact and learn a lot of things since I'm in a tech field. So I wanted to interact uh, with like-minded people connect with um, students doing tech studies. I have learned how the world is really changing, how we are shifting from a more backward type of employment. Like we've been told, before it used to be more of a stability kind, we are now going to agile. It's more about the productivity. It's more about what you put out more than what you bring in. This is a time for East Africa to continue to shine. And at Safaricom, we are actively partnering with government, with learning institutions to drive and build the tech capability that East Africa needs to be able to continue to propel and define shifts uh, into the future.